Hey, this is Ramon Channel Software 4, and I've been talking a lot of Bible stuff lately, and I want to talk about context. See, my intellect, my gift, uh, lays in comprehension and verbal. Those are where my skills are. And so my understanding of the, of the biblical ideas is a little different than most people's, even than most religious people's. Not because of uh, differences in faith, but because my context is a little broader. Because if I read something and I see it referencing something else, then I got to know what that thing is that it's referencing. And if I know that there's a source material, I have this uh, drive, this urge to find the source material, to find the older version of something and find out what it actually said originally. Why am I bringing that up? Because there are multiple contexts that you can understand biblical text. For instance, and I'll get into it a little bit better, but you can understand the Bible in a religious sense. So do you want to read all the religions in the world, everything from Buddhist scriptures to Hindu? No, you want it to be relative to what you're reading. But the relative text is actually quite large. You have the Tanaka, or uh, basically the Torah, and then the histories and Book of Wisdom of the Hebrew people. Then you have the New Testament, okay? Then you have the Quran, okay? Then you have the Book of Mormon. And I know what you're saying, what's this one doing in here? There is a branch, there is a line of knowledge. So the later ideas or the ideas that these other religions produce is relevant to the original ideas. In a, in a sense. Okay, so it gives you a greater context of the Judo Christian uh, Islam branch of I ideas. Okay, but what else do you need? Well, you also need to realize that all these words were, by the time that, that we got it, were translated into Greek. So, what does that mean? Well, you got to understand the Greek context for the words that are being used. The Greek language, for instance, Hades uh, doesn't mean hell like we think of it. In fact, hell isn't even from these words, and I should have gotten those texts too because I got those also. If you read the prose Edda and the, um, uh, there's another Edda, the, uh, basically the Norse mythology, you'll see that hell is actually a word from the, from the Norse. So that word doesn't even exist at the time that of the biblical writings are being compiled, at least for the first time. So you'll see words like Shoal and words like um, Tartarus and Hades. You won't see words like Hell, which is not even in the lexicon at the time. So what does that mean? Well, that means you also got to read the Greek text to understand the Greek context for these words. So that's Hesoid, that's Homer, that's the Homeric hymns, that's uh, the Odes, and that's uh, Jason and the Argonauts, okay? But it was also translated into Latin, so you gotta understand the Latin, the Latin context for these words. So that's the Aeneid and Met Metamorphosis, even though Metamorphosis was written slightly after the compilations of the Bible. Still, it's good to have context for the terminology. But there's another context to understand it in. And that's the context that it was written, okay? So, what do I mean by that? Well, you got the religious stories that still exist today that came before the Bible. So you have the Epic of Gilgamesh. You have the Emma Elish. You have the Atar Hasis. You have the Dead Sea Scrolls. And then, if you want to get into the New Testament, and this one's not going to please some people to know that I have it, is the Gnostic, okay? So, plus you have other books like the Edras, uh, which would be found in the Orthodox text, and the Coptic text, and the Ethiopian text. So you got a completely different uh, way of understanding the broad spectrum of text. So not only would you have to read multiple translations, and multiple versions, and multiple sources, but you have to read a very large uh, variety of material that is relevant to 
the context of the words in the Bible that we're reading. So what does that mean? That means that unless you've read all this other material, or unless you're at least familiar with this other material, how can you comprehend something like Genesis? You just can't. The, the layman, the average person reading Genesis, who has no understanding of science, no understanding of history, no understanding of mythology, trying to make sense of Genesis is of course going to come with a literal interpretation. Is of course either going to say this is nonsense or this is literal and this is how it happened and science is wrong. It's impossible for someone without a broad base of reference to understand the deep context of the biblical stories, especially Genesis and, and the origin stories in the Bible. So I will get into each one of these sections separately in a non-religious uh, context just to kind of give a broad overview of each of these collections. But I fell in love with this stuff back when I was like maybe 18 years old. And it takes it took a long time to read most of this stuff. And some of the stuff I either had to use as reference or I've had to put off reading until I get to it. So like the King James Version, like I just use it as reference. Or the NIV, which I haven't read yet. Um, or the Book of Mormon, which is there, but I'll be honest, I haven't read this thing. Um, but yeah, so like, you know, the I opened it, okay? I opened it, I read like, I don't know, how far did I get? I'll tell you how far I got. Hold on. Uh, it looks like I didn't get much further than Nephi. Yeah, so anyway, there you go. So there's a broader context to the biblical understanding and so when I say a lot of the stuff that I say, don't get offended and, and don't get overly excited. And for the atheists out there who are listening to it, understand that I'm still a believer. I just understand the broader context. And to the religious people uh, and literalists out there, don't get offended because understand I do believe. I just understand it's in a broader context. And for those who are just listening because they're being entertained, um, my knowledge is broader than how I sometimes sound in the videos. So I am giving real references, and it's not just crap off the top of my head. Read the material, and you'll get a broader context for the stuff. Also, with the later books of the Bible, especially with the so-called Apocrypha, read Jophesis. You can get a really good understanding of Maccabees. Um, read, um, for the New Testament, read Polybius and read other um, other stuff having to do with uh, the Roman period in Judea, and you'll get a really strong understanding of the politics at that time. And, and that's important to know if you're going to understand the story, if you're going to understand who all these people are. Anyway, peace, like, subscribe. Bye.